Hi everyone, it's Rich B and AZ again, and today I'm going to try and find another way to make my bubble balancer work a bit better. One of the things I've noticed is that on this car where I did all the tyres recently, uh, when you get up to the higher speeds on the freeway, you can start to feel some vibration coming in. So I was looking online, uh, after going to the Home Depots and Lowe's and stuff who don't really have much in way of stock and I ended up ordering this online uh, that's their name, it's a self-leveling laser level okay so I've got a wheel off the XB there we've got <coughs> the laser level is turned on and it's shining across if you can just make it out see there's the green line right across here but there's nothing on this side. So this looks like it's a high side. Oh, I'm getting tired chasing my tail here. Um, I think there's something wrong with the bubble balancer itself. It's just not working right. See where the weight is right now and the green stripe is? I'm going to return a uh, lift uh, and turn the wheel a quarter turn. See what happens. Okay, so all I did was lift the tire off the balancer, turn it a quarter to the right, and now the green streak's over here. Hang on. Here we are with another quarter turn. You can see the weight is down here now, and the high spot is over there. So that's a half a turn. Now, it shouldn't happen. That green should be over this side where the weight is. But something must be wrong with the bubble balancer itself, which is, oh, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. What a pain. Okay, now I'm just going to turn the wheel on the balancer itself a half turn. So I'm going to put that weight over there. Out there. And look, the high spot's moved over here. So... What the hell? And I bet if I moved, lifted the wheel, turned it half a turn, it'll be on this side. And yes, there it is. So I lifted the wheel half a turn, roughly. And there's the weight, there's the high spot. <sighs> Don't know. Something's wrong. Right, I'm trying to see how, uh, how much run out there is in the cone. So I'm taking this off so I can measure some run out. And this is an example of how poorly it's made. Um, these should line up with the holes. And you can see I've got two here. This one, oh god, miles off. I mean, this is not even close. This was actually hard to pull out. The springs would have pushed it out. I should have pushed it out on its own, but it is so poorly made. Look at that, the holes are miles off. Not good. Alright, so that pivot point in the center at the bottom of this thing. Uh, measuring the height of that to the base and then from the base back up to right about where this green line is, is approximately where that pivot point is on the inside. So I'm going to see if I can do a put a dial indicator on this point here. Alright, so I'm going to check the run out here. I've got it starting on this green spot. It's, it's kind of wobbly, so I'll, I have to let it settle, starting about 10. That's a 40, 42. Jump 45. Now it's coming back. As I'm turning it back to about 10. So it's about 35 thou off center. Wow. I mean, that's just useless, really. Uh, don't know how I'm going to fix that. So this is the aluminum duct tape I'm going to try and fix this thing with. So I was just measuring it with my really old <laughs> caliper. And uh, it's six thou including the backing, two thou for the backing. 
So four thou per piece. So four, and I've got to get to 35. So that's a lot of pieces of tape. You know, it's nine pieces of tape, right? That would give me 36. Nine bits of tape. That's how badly off this is. And so there, there's with the tape on. I had to remeasure the stack of tape and it was a bit high. It was at 50 thou with nine pieces. So a couple of pieces off. And the backing tape, which is about right. Tomorrow, seeing this is seven o'clock at night now, I will have a go and see if that gives me a better tire balance. So it's going to shift the whole wheel by that 35 thou, so hopefully this is going to recenter it over the pivot point. You know, the pivot point's inside. <sighs> Useless Chinese manufacturing.